Good morning. Happy Thursday. So uh, Thursdays, I take the time to think about food. I talk to my clients about food. I even use Thursdays to do a little preparation for the rest of my week. Um, on Sundays, I tend to do my prep, right? Um, and it's kind of good to have a little bit of something in the fridge. There's so many tips to being successful with eating clean and fasting. Uh, this past week, I'm having clients sit, we have certain conversations until they understand and turn their mindset changes and what's fasting and what do you mean flipping over you know, food and, and reading the ingredients. Oh, I can make that myself. Oh, that's better. So you have to have that, that those changes, right? Uh, knowledge is power. And when you start to understand what you're eating, it makes a difference. Um, this week, for instance, my son, he just got his license. He's out and about. I look at his debit card and I mean, you would never think it's even my son. He's like every Taco Bell, Dunkin' Donuts. I, I was like, I didn't say anything, but he was laying on the couch and he goes, you know, the last few days, like my stomach is really killing me. I said, have you seen your debit card statement recently? I mean, food is medicine or it's going to make you sick. And, you know, it, it was one of those things where it was like, uh, all right, you know. Um, another good thing that happened this week is my daughter. She um, She's had lots of uh, allergies and food issues. She was, went and got breath tests. She was supposed to not ever touch milk again because she's so allergic to it, but she did. And then she had anemia issues and um, lots of good sorts of issues that we were running into and it always seemed to kind of come back to food but of course when you go to the doctors they're serving oreos as you're walking out and you're like okay i think it's the food so in the last week two weeks close to three now i don't know i somehow it, it rubbed off or she just realized it's time for her she also went through um surgery on her knee uh, in the last few years, a broken back from gymnastics and uh, clavicle, broken clavicle. So, you know, eating a certain way and being held up at a young age and you see in this and you're like, ah. So this, two weeks ago, she started fasting on her own. And I was like, she, she said to me, you know, I'm, I'm going to fast. I'm going to stay away from milk. And I'm going to stay away from uh, sugar. And she dropped 10 pounds in like two weeks. And I mean, yeah, she's 16 years old. She's put all those pieces together. She's got me there to go like, come on, let's keep doing it. You know, without saying, come on, let's keep doing it. Um, but it's one of those things she went and had, she treated herself. And that's what I, listen, if you're allergic to it, you shouldn't treat yourself, right? And here's the perfect example because she had pizza and then she was like, she realized why she shouldn't have pizza after. And the thing is, if you are eating pizza every day, eating sugar on top of whatever else, you're always not feeling well. And then when you start to not eat that way, all of a sudden your body changes. People say to me like, I don't understand how you have so much energy. It's because I'm not eating crap that's taken my depleting my energy. I'm eating good food to charge up my energy. And yeah, sometimes I treat myself. Yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, go, you know, but you're supposed to. And that's what makes it a lifestyle change. You're allowing yourself to treat, but then you go back to what works for you health-wise, right? So food for thought, Thursday, I usually have Misfit Market coming in. Misfit Market maybe a year later today. I don't know. It comes whenever it wants lately, but it's still good quality food and I love it. And um, one of the things that came there was butternut squash and I, I never was into it. It started coming into my the box and I started having to find recipes for it. Either that or 
you know, closing down the box, uh, closing down the subscription and, and, you know, and trying something different. But to me, it was an opportunity to like go, all right, what the hell is this thing? And what do I do with it? And, you know, I, it, I started really enjoying it. Um, this week, I got a chance to go to Trader Joe's with a few clients and my dad joined me, which was awesome because he's starting his journey at this moment. And he um, won in a Misfit uh, box, I got jicama. And I was like, what is jicama, right? So I even didn't know what it was. I had to like really research this thing and go on to the site, figure it out and all that. And then I walk into Trader Joe's and they make these jicama wraps, right? Um, literally they take the, the whole, it's like a big white beet looking thing and they slice it and then it holds things magically with like no bread, no crab, no, it's a vegetable or fruit, vegetable I think. Um, so, you know, we're, and I said, dad, take this home, try it, play around with it, see what else, because he, he likes his sandwiches and that kind of thing. He's, he's insane about this. And I said to my mom, you know, she's like, I, I never even heard of this thing, you know? And I was like, I didn't either. But if I didn't get it in my misfit market and try something different, then I would never have known to go, oh, I'm gonna pick that up and try it. And to me, that's not 1% better. Um, it's strange this today, I, I uh, on a memory for Facebook, I didn't even realize like a few days ago, I contacted the woman who does my tattoos. She's become a friend through the years. And um, I reached out and said, okay, it's time. It's, it's gonna, I'm wrapping up a Christmas and birthday, to, you know, early birthday, and I'd like to do it before. I didn't even think the end of the year, but she gave me the date of December 4th, and I was like, perfect. And then I came across a post that was dated today, and it was like, you know, goals for 2020 it was ink and it was like you know this past week i started flipping through some of my my journals and there some journals some weeks are better than others some days this year you know it's all new i'm trying all sorts of crazy things and it's working i think it's helping me at least and i suggest it to people and whoever they did you know does it it seems to help them too and there's a lot of people who do it. So, and I find them on Facebook. So, um, anyway, I found my goals that I wrote out for um, 2020. And the funny thing is, as much as you, you're know, like, oh, well, these are so different than my, what's happened in this past year, right? From the pandemic to, you know, my, my daughter's own injuries, to my separation, to, to life just being so different. Right? Another year going by, injuries and this, that. But it was pretty cool because I've never in my life, previous to that, wrote a goal for a year and kind of, and the thing is I didn't write it and just put it down, you know? And a lot of the other uh, people that I listen to and follow along with, they don't just write it and put it down because you can't do it. You have to kind of be it each day or try it each day. Um, I went on a tangent, but I want to show you, this is my, my, my newest, um, I'm, I could do it the same way. My favorite way to do this is, um, raisins and pecans. If you like walnuts or cashews or whatever nut you like better. Um, for me, pecans and these raisins seem to go together for me. Coconut cream, earth's balance, cinnamon. And first I roast it completely. I make that mix, um, maple syrup, and I pour it right on and I let it crisp up. And that's a meal for me. Um, and last, a few days ago, I, I came home with Brussels sprouts. It's a whole different now. I should have kind of put a, um, not many have gone, I have to eat them today. Um, but I came home with a big stock of Brussels sprouts and I did a little uh, video and somebody was like, I thought you were gonna write a, you know, say a recipe. And I'm like, I thought I was too, you know, this is new to me also. So, um, 
Brussels sprouts, what I do for myself is I, I, I kind of kind of just rip them off the whole thing. I was going to cut them. What's the point? And then I cut it, uh, laid it out. I made a mix. I put avocado, organic avocado oil, salt and pepper. I try to keep it minimal, right? Can go extravagant. Garlic and um, maple syrup. You know, I look to see what other uh, sugars I could put on there. And of course I wanted it to be like salts, garlicky and, and, and sweet, but um, it worked great. So the avocado oil uh, crisps things up differently. I used to use olive oil and then um, and I used to get olive oil at like those big warehouse places only to learn that <clears throat> they, they're, they're like allowed to put a percentage of olive oil in it. I think that's changed, but like <clears throat> as long as it has a certain percentage, they can call it olive oil. And for myself, after realizing that, I've changed oils and changed, again, some of my foods. Um, one other thing I want to show you food-wise, and I bring this up every once in a while, but this has been my, my true test, and I've been really pretty consistent with it. And I think I see it, I think I, I know I see a difference because my skin feels different. Um, but coconut oil. Coconut oil you can cook with. Um, people use it as a moisturizer. My daughter put it in her hair yesterday. Um, I mean, there's a whole, people uh, use it, oh, what's it called? In your tea, it's called something. Um, there's so many, I mean, there's so many uses for this. And one of the uses that I read a while ago, and it caught my eye on Pinterest because it was all about uh, this 30 day, you know, look in 30 days, it can, it, your skin can look like this. And at that time I was doing a lot of 30 day challenges for myself and I was like, all right. So I took that picture, I held on to it. I made this somewhat consistent and I started to realize it's working. You know, I took pictures before I started using this consistently and it's baking soda and coconut oil. And um, I think your skin from fasting and eating clean completely changes. That alone. Um, I see it with my clients. They, their family sees it with their, their complexions and their skin. And because when you're fasting, you're, you're giving your body a chance to, to take a break and systems recharge and all that. And, you know, when you're eating clean, you're not eating with all the other crap that most people are putting in their body. It's got to go somewhere. It doesn't just go here. It goes in your skin. It goes in your face. It goes in your body. And so um, eating clean and intermittent fasting, I think definitely is has been a plus for my skin. But I know this and this and how cheap is that to me? Like, I love that. Um, so I have kind of put my, I did buy organic uh, wrinkle cream from Juice Beauty, which I should give it a legit try because there seemed to be a great company. Um, but I still want to kind of do this for a little while because I would rather know that this works and, and share that with everyone and see. I have clients who are doing it too and they, they seem to really see the difference. So, um, food for thought, and I know I went on a rambling rampage, but I uh, haven't been on in a few days and I am getting back to this. And, uh, you know, I, I think I started this post as like, life is um, a wave and I see it with my clients, I see it in my world, I see it in, you know, we all see it in the world itself. And, uh, you know, every day you get a chance to get up, get a chance to do it again, you know. And to me, that's what I think it's all about. And if you are mindful of it and you consider the food that we're eating as either making you sick or making you healthy, it will make a difference in a month, in a year, in five years, in seven years, you know. Um, 
And that's what I think is so cool about it. I kind of didn't know that about seven years ago. And as I started my journey and things started changing because I kept pushing to make them change, stop drinking, stop smoking, you know, changing my anxiety level and all that. And, and there I am now flipping through something a year ago and going, I'm all right with that. I did pretty okay with my goals. I mean, and down to even getting a tattoo before the end of the year. So that's a win-win win for me. So um, I hope you have a great day and I will be on tomorrow and I won't go on a rambling rampage. So have a good day.